Well, I take a totally different view uh, from everyone because I am a public school teacher. I've been for 33 years now. The problem with education has nothing to do with the government funding. It has to do with the practices that have taken place in education since the 1970s. When I went to school, we had what they call tracking. In other words, if you did, if you were a good student, you were an A student, you were in school with, you were in classes with kids that were like you. I feel that our higher level students, especially at the elementary schools and the middle school, are being neglected. And I think that's a crime. I think that, that the kids should be in with kids who want to work. Um, as a teacher, I can tell you it's very hard if I have, you know, 25 kids and you have 10 that are really good, you have the middle, and then you have a few that are very slow learners. The, the higher level kids suffer. And I think that's a crime for our country because that's, these are the kids that are going to become our leaders of tomorrow. And I think they're being neglected. So with that being said, I do support school choice. The money is yours. The money you make, your hard earned money belongs to you. It does not belong to the state. If you want to send your kid to a private school, you have the right to do that. And I don't think anyone should tell you, no, you don't. If your kid's not going to a public school, then the public school doesn't have to pay for them. So I, I don't see where they're saying that the public schools are losing the money. They don't have to educate that child. So I just feel that uh, sending the kids where you want to send, it's your money, it belongs to you, and you should be able to send them wherever you want. Thank you. Mr. Feltus, what 